now regarding this other issue regarding uh, other issue try to understand that who are the other issue players other is one is private we call it as private placement now try to understand that whether private placement is a public issue no it's not given to the public it is given only to certain people what is this private placement is all about generally the company issue share to certain qualified institutional buyers this word is about qualified qib short we call it as q i b qualified institutional buyers who gives the word qualified it is that market regulator itself see i is what institutions i is institutions basically institutions so you can see some well recognized mutual funds insurance funds pension funds okay they are considered as qualified institutional buyers they have lot of fund and they have the market expertise okay now normally what happen is that before going for an ipo or public issue they make some shares to private a place qualified institutional buyers now think about you as a public i am issuing my company share for the first time you are not aware about me my credentials but i am i am telling that i have this much of profit this much of uh, in the last few years i made this much of profit i am doing this and that and all these things i publicize it but you will get more confident when when you see some qualified institutional buyers have purchased my share they get the point ha huh. like morgan stanley like that well well reputed financial institutions have purchased my share ha huh. if these people have purchased my share means that ha huh, this they have some credit worthiness ha huh, they have they are they are a future company where i'll get more future i'll get make i can make money if i invest in their shares so company issues parallelly this private placement so private placement it is done in a private manner it will issue maybe a 2 percentage or 5 percentage of the share to these qualified institutional buyers that's that's the term private placement so it it is not basically a public issue it's another issue then other is other is <coughs> what is called as rights issue <coughs> see rights issue happens as a part of follow on public offer rights issue happen as a part of follow on public offer if you see right issue means <coughs> existing share shareholder just have an idea existing shareholder who are the existing shareholder imagine in my case i have given you you are my at first stage as part of ipo i have given you 10 percentage of the share i have given you 10 percentage of the share again i am going to issue new shares but i am not going for as a public issue it's my follow on offer but i am not giving going to give as a public issue rather i am saying that i will issue this share to the existing shareholder company saying that this issue which i am going to make is not for the entire public but only to the existing shareholder so existing shareholder as a right ha, as a existing shareholder he have a right to purchase this share that's why they are called as rights issue who have the right existing shareholder so second one is right issue okay. so why it is not public it any public can't buy it only existing shareholders can buy it third one is third one is bonus issue bonus 
See, as a shareholder, after one year, I have to give you dividends. Company have to give you dividends. So I, de I decide that I will not give you dividends, but I give a, I'm, I, I'm giving you an option that instead of the dividend, instead of the bonus or dividend, I'll give you new shares. Get the point. Instead of instead of giving you money, I'm giving you few more shares. So that is what is called as. So again, this is for the existing shareholder because only existing shareholder will get bonus. So bonus issue is bonus or bonus. This term you will come across in the news. Already it has come. Come. Bonus issue is to the existing shareholder. Instead of giving bonus, they are giving issuing shares. So third is bonus issue. The last one, fourth one is what is called as sweat equity issue. Sweat equity. You know sweat, na? Sweat. So this is given to companies, directors, or executives. Every company's directors, or that is top management. This share is issued to companies' top executives or managers. Oh, sorry, or directors. Uh, they say that since these executives or directors have contributed more to the company in the form of intellectual property or their sweat, they have put more sweat for the growth of the company, the company is going to issue them some share, but they have to pay some money to that share, but at a discounted price. In sweat ticket, it is given only to the directors or to the top executives, but at a discounted price. What is the prevailing market price? At a discount they will give. So this is sweat equity. Sweat equity. There is another form of uh, sweat equity. What is called as? Again, it is coming in the news. What is called as ESOP? ESOP, Employee Stock Option Plan. ESOP. But it similar to sweat equity, but in a different uh, for a different category of people. Employees stock option plan. It is for the low uh, any other other than these top people, any other employees of the company can purchase the share of that company. So if ESOP is not for so ESOP is generally for other employees of the company. Any employees can purchase it. We call it as employee. I, I will give, they will give you a chance for them. If you want, you can purchase the company share. And what is the offer? We'll give you a discount. We'll give you at a discount. So discount has been given. But with a condition that a lock-in period will be there. Lock-in period means Company, uh, company staff, what they'll do? <laughs> they'll buy purchase at a discount, and after two days they'll sell off. So they will not allow. They'll, that's lock-in period. Lock-in period means you can sell only after a certain period of time. And the purpose of this giving ESOP is that uh, to retain its best employees by giving them special, spe other than their salary, give they're giving them special incentives. So since it's a lock-in period, is there? They at least during that period they'll be there. So company especially these IT companies and when they feel that their employees are very important they give them these ESOP option and other plans especially high technique uh, means technology based companies use these type of incentives to retain their uh, staff so just have an idea these are the uh, issues public issue and other issue we are discussing about we are discussing about uh, primary market now try to understand that in 2016 lot of companies have come with IPO and they have raised, they have raised a lot of fund from the uh, capital market for its expansion or to start up new business and all these things.